dear students here is the pdf of gamma distribution f of x equals to where alpha beta are the parameters f of x equals to 1 by beta power alpha gamma alpha x power alpha minus 1 e power minus x by beta where x greater equals to 0 and fx equals to 0 otherwise here gamma alpha is the gamma function the gamma function you know is 0 to infinity x power alpha minus 1 e power minus x dx so if you use the mean and variance formula for this pdf then you will get the mean of gamma function is ex is alpha beta and variance vx is alpha beta square if you take beta as 1 if you take beta as 1 then you will get the standard gamma function that is f of x equals to 1 by beta is 1 look here 1 to the power alpha is 1 so only gamma alpha and x power alpha minus 1 and e power minus x and this is 0 otherwise where x theta equals to 0 and 0 otherwise this is called the standard gamma function sorry gamma distribution and this is the pdf of standard gamma distribution now if you take alpha as 1 if you take alpha as 1 and beta as 1 by lambda so if you put this alpha as 1 here alpha as 1 and beta as 1 by lambda then you will have 1 by lambda to the power alpha so you will have uh, alpha is 1 so fx equals to you see here if you put alpha as 1 ok let us write If you put alpha equals to 1 and beta equals to 1 by lambda. So fx equals to 1 by, uh, 1 by 1 by lambda to the power 1 that is lambda that is lambda and x power 1 minus 1 that is 0 x power 0 is 1 and e power e power minus x by 1 by lambda. So e power minus lambda x, this is for x greater equals to 0 and this is 0 otherwise. So this uh, density function is nothing but the exponential, exponential density function. Exponential density function. So you have uh, noticed that how are you are getting the exponential from gamma distribution and as you know that exponential is also the continuous distribution. And uh, you notice that if you take uh, alpha as 1 and beta as 1 by lambda then uh, mean for exponential is mean is 1 by lambda because this is alpha beta and variance is alpha um, beta square so if you put alpha as 1 and beta as 1 by lambda then variance is 1 by lambda square variance is 1 by lambda square okay hope you understood